Welcome back to Google Lakes. Where everybody's doing all right today. Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, what am I doing today? Well, I didn't know up until a few minutes ago, to be honest with you. I um, didn't really set up much of a menu for the week. Um, you know, did the grocery thing like everybody else, or like I do every week, but I didn't really focus on what I'm going to cook. I didn't do my meal plan like I usually do, uh, which is cool. I like that. I get to experiment. That's that's. I look forward to that. I go digging in cupboards and digging in fridges and freezers and see what we can come up with. So what do I have? I've got some shredded steak, uh, shredded ribeye. I've got onion, bell pepper, jalapeno, and some banana peppers, and I've got some steak rolls and some cheese. What can we put together with those things, eh? Mmm, yes, cheese steak sandwiches. Yum, yum. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna call it Philly cheese steak because I've never been to Philly. Not once have I ever stepped foot in Philadelphia. So, that would be like someone from California who's never eaten a po' boy in New Orleans calling a sandwich in New Orleans po' boy. I just, I'm not going to be that guy. But it's steak cheese on a bun. It is a cheese steak sandwich. Yeah. So, I don't know how they really season the stuff in Philadelphia or what they do. I'm going to do my thing. I've uh, got some, I'm going to probably uh, at some point throw in some Worcestershire sauce and some baked pepper sauce and kind of mix that in with the uh, mixture. Just, I like those flavors. I think they go well with this. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with me on an experimental ride. It should be fun. Anyway, let me get started with Julianne's vegetables so we can get uh, the skillet running. And thank you all very much for watching and uh, forward to seeing you later. Season it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, like. And then that's what I'm gonna put on the steak too. So I'm trying to get these dark edges like this. I'm about ready to drop the steak in, so these are gonna still cook. These are gonna stay in the pan. Guys, okay, I'm gonna do that now. So I just fry the peppers to one side of the pan. And then drop in the meat. And that's just shredded ribeye. You can get that. You can just ask the butcher to do it for you, and they'll be more than happy to. Cook that is good. Some garlic that I chopped up. That stuff right here is phenomenal. Yeah, if you haven't tried it, try it. My son loves this stuff. Slap it on a bun in a minute, and it will show you the finished product. 